Football season upon us. The Big 12 now the Big 14 welcoming newcomers BYU, Cincy, Houston and UCF. This new college football landscape has us feeling like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. We're not in Kansas anymore. The Big 12 champion still is Manhattan, the little apple to be exact. From the tin man to the wind man. Here's head cat Chris Kleiman discussing the state of the conference. Well, there's tremendous parity in the Big 12. Uh, you saw that last year uh, with the amount of teams that uh, either won one score games or knocked people off. And, and every week you had to have your A game or you were going to get beat. And I think that's what college football is starting to become as well. You know, recruiting is, is never ending. The transfer portal is never ending. And so there's so many players switching teams. So you're always going to have increased parity. You know, some of the guys that maybe weren't playing as much for you are on another team, sometimes even in the same league. That uh, always is going to increase competition. And college football is really healthy. I I'm excited about the direction it's going, especially uh, once uh, we get to the 12-team 12, uh, 12 playoff. All right, so the Big 12 having its moment, its stage of media day, got us thinking about their classics on the field between the lines uh, last season. Let's start on, uh, what, when was it? September the 24th. This is uh, Texas and Texas Tech. And B. John Robinson. Come I mean, on. You, you've called him a Heisman winner potentially for like three years. <laughs> and now he's going to the NFL, but he was touchdown Robinson. He had my vote, but I don't have a vote. 103 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Texas up two touchdowns as well. But Donovan Smith coming back. That's to Baylor Cup. Baylor Cup, four grabs, 65 yards in a tutty. 331 through the air for Smith. Uh, we should probably stop saying tutties. Uh, that's Texas Tech's Trey Wolf, 45-yard field goal. Red Raiders lead 34-31. This is with two seconds to play. Burnt Auburn. War Eagle for Burnt Orange. We're all square at 34. We go to overtime. And that's what happens to Bijan Robinson. He puts the ball on the ground. Oh, come on. Yeah, his only turnover. There were no turnovers Show for that. the Red Raiders, and that proved to be the difference because that would lead to Wolf, as in hungry like the Wolf. It's good. It's Great a song. first home win over Texas for the Red Raiders since 2008. Shout out Michael Crabtree. TCU involved in a couple of these. Uh, this is against Kansas State. This is the Big 12 championship game, and that is Deuce Mon. And you can say the deuce was loose. It's 130 rushing yards for him. His longest run of the day, 44 yards for his lone rushing touchdown of the day. But Max Duggan already with 87 rushing yards on this drive. With two minutes to go in the fourth, he is spent in the end zone. But he's in the end zone. 110 rushing yards on 15 carries on the day. Ensuing two-point conversion to tie. He finds Jared Wiley. TCU ties this at 28, forcing overtime. TCU undefeated on the regular season. They're undefeated coming in, trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. And Kendra Miller is stopped. He had 82 rushing yards. He needed 83. He had a touchdown, needed one more. It would lead to Ty Zentner, 31 yards. That's how Circle gets the square. K-State Big 12 champions, 31 to 28. Although TCU would still go, actually, all the way to the national uh, championship game. The Big 12 kicking off with their new conference look with these notable matchups through the season. They include Oklahoma and Texas. That's in Dallas, October 7th on ABC. Uh, and just a few weeks later, K-State will host TCU in a rematch at that Big 12 championship. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.